<laughs> hey, what is going on, everybody? Depressed slash here, and we are back with another indie game. So I picked this up off of itch.io. I've actually tried to play it once that I was recording, was not recording it, which is fine because I wasn't going to use that video anyways because I got hella stuck and had to look up something. Um, and there's not really any save points. It's kind of just like you play it once and you make it through and you're done. Um, scared the shit out of me a few times. It'll probably scare the shit out of me a couple more times because there, I know there are some, like there's one place I know specifically something that's going to happen. Um, now, also, I re-downloaded the game as well because he had the final version out, and I've had this game for so long that I didn't have the final version. But I got the final version now. This is created by Azaxor, Aza Game Studios. You currently do not see me on the screen. You will hear soon. Bear with me, though. I'm not wearing a hat because I'm developing a headache because of uh, the hat. Um, so my hair is a little fucked up, but I don't care. I really wanted to play this game, and I really wanted to progress. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this. I will be up on the screen shortly. Let's do this. This is a very well-made game from what I've played so far, though. This first loading is hella long. My name is Devin Delovey. The year is 1989. I'm researching the legend of Julia Brown. A voodoo priestess said to have lived in Ma Manchac, Louisiana 20 years ago. The legend goes she cursed the town. She foretold that upon her death, she would take the whole world down with her. Or the whole town with her. Shortly after her death, three hurricanes hit the area, leaving death and destruction behind. I will investigate Julia's house to uncover the truth about what happened to, to her and her husband, Charles. Um, this is also based on an actual urban legend, apparently. I've reached the resident of Julia Brown. I can't believe it. I should check the porch before heading inside. There's a reason for that. I don't have a flashlight yet, but I know I get one early on, but I won't use it much. God damn it. That caused me to jump again. Oh, this is a new area. Oh, dear God, you were fucking ugly. Oh, you were fucking ugly. Tuna. Oh, what's the tuna for? Spellbook with strange drawings. I can't take it though. Occult book by Edgar Allan Poe. Can I take the Edgar Allan Poe book? No. Fuckers. Device used to brew tea. Can't take that either. Breathe in my ear. Rude. Stove, did Julie and Charles live here before?
You are one ugly fucking doll. Oh my god! Now your head's backwards. Fuck you. Oh, and there's more of you. What the fuck was that? One of you creepy little bastards is supposed to have a key for me. Dinner room key. Thank you. I see you. Oh, you fucking owl! God damn it. Honey, I'm home. It's a compass. It's a picture of Julia Brown and her husband. in those drawers. Now, there's not a doll in here right now, but one shows up later. Scared the shit out of me last time. Shows up right in front of this fucking picture. Red drawer key. Red drawer key. Equip item. Use. Death toll of storm at 350. Painting. This one's supposed to scare me. Oh, it didn't scare me this time. Oh, no, it's that one. Made me jump a little bit. They were definitely smokers. Syringe, hmm, narcotics to play here? Maybe. Julia Journal number one. I keep having the same dream. I dream I am sitting on my porch. I sing my usual song. I wish everyone in this town will die. The day I pass away, I call upon the spirits of air. I see into the future. All the hate you cast shall come back to you eternally. So noted be. Or so moted be. Oh, you motherfucker!
All right, so they just changed where the key was located. You actually had to go in there. Oh, motherfucker! I forgot about that. Ugh. There's not a magic lamp there anymore. Where'd the magic lamp go? Old spyglass. Useful to restore some health. I didn't know you could lose health in this game. Brains! Alright, my husband Charles and I would rarely have guests for dinner, but when we did, I made sure everything was perfect. I forgot where this brain came from, but it would be the last thing I ate before I died. It tasted particularly sour, with a slight sweetness to it. It reminded me that even the worst of humanity, we could find some things to cherish. My sweet Charles. How I wish you could paint a picture to illustrate this feeling I'm having now. Will you quit crying in my fucking ear? Oh dear god. Did y'all just see them feet dangle? Fucked up. Julia Journal 6. A mirror shows us our past, present, and future. Mine is crafted with the finest black obsidian, with a handmade bronze frame. I have spent countless hours looking into the abyss within myself. I am beginning to understand I have a beast within me. A certain urge we all possess, something I must control. In the mirror, I see my future. I see me being alone, finally united with my unborn little boy. Alright, I'm gonna explore this room a little bit here. God damn it, dude. My husband stays up late every night. I am starting to think he loves his art more than he loves me. I even put spells around the house for him to notice me, but nothing seems to help. Oil lamp. Oh, you fucking bird! Julia's husband was a painter. Charles is Oh god damn it The people the something That one didn't scare me that time There's the book, The Curse of Julia Brown.
I wonder what the symbols on this book mean. Oil lamp. Another one of those creepy ass fucking dolls. Closet key! Like I said, I remember where a few things are. Old hourglass with sand in it. That's new. Spell to attract an item to you. Ancient one of the ancient earth. Older than time can tell. Grant me the power at your command to work my magic spell. <clears throat> Strange book. I wonder what language this is. Strange book with occult drawings. Julia Journal number four. People keep coming to my house to get charms and healing. I wasn't always this bad person. The locals made me to be. The truth is, the townsfolk started to take me for granted, so I started to research hexes and curses. I would predict when horrible occurrences would happen to people, and my predictions would almost always come true as well. Birdcage. I know if I try to walk up these stairs, some hands stop me. Like, no! The way is blocked. What is this? I need something to get past here. Don't you breathe on me, bitch. I missed the big jump scare that got me last time. Multimeter. Can I take it yet? Nope. Voodoo doll. With a needle in it. Can't take it. Julia Journal number 7. My husband Charles has spent a lot of time working on the old wreck of a car. We live in mechanic or manic swamps, manchac swamps. So a car is dreadfully useless here. The canals surrounding our small community makes most people use small boats. The electricity has been acting up again in our old house, but I will leave it to Charles. He built the house himself back in the day. The voodoo doll on the table serves a specific purpose. A needle is inserted the, is inserted into the heart region. Some folks say it brings love, some folks say it kills. But what is life without love or without risks? Note to myself by Charles, I've recently been on a few fishing trips. I love being away from my wife and enjoying nature. It is an artist's wonderland, you could say. Nature in itself is a piece of art. Still, I find myself dwelling on creating the perfect piece. The electricity has been acting up again in our old house here in Manchac. I think I left the gas can into this generator in the fishing supply room. The only problem is, I can't seem to remember where I put the key. I think I might have dropped it somewhere in the bathroom. I will have to go looking for it soon. Not only is the electricity acting up, but we seem to be plagued by damn rat infestation. These goddamn creatures will gnaw through everything. I apologize. I shouldn't use our Lord's name in vain. Remember, or remain steadfast, Charles. Remember, Jesus loves you. Alright, let's go around here and piss myself. Oh, motherfucker, there it goes! God damn it! Julia Brown's guitar. This could be worth a lot. Oh, can I take it? No. You still can't do anything in this fucking closet. This is where I got stuck last time. 
There's supposed to be some broken wood. Oh, found it. All right, thank you to Vash in the Pit for telling me where the fuck this key was, because I've been looking for it for a minute. Um, take that shit. Oh. What did I do? Ah, it's an edible. Oh, so I'm actually gonna need my fucking flashlight for one. Oh my god! <laughs> Was that Julia? Fuck you, Julia. <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, that is what that means. Oh, the lag. <laughs> 